All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item of this um, That's It mini fruit bars, only two ingredients. All right, so this is normally $13.99. It was $4 off, so $10. Um, this bag is pretty small. We'll see how it tastes um, and see if it's worth it. So anyways, here you can see certified gluten-free, all right, non-GMO. There's eight strawberry, eight mango, eight blueberry, no sugar added. All right, 24.7 um, ounce, 20 gram bars, net weight 16.8 ounce total, 480 grams. Go. Hi, we are mini and mighty. So, all right, not much on the top. Here you can see more fruits. That's it, mini fruit bars. All right, uh, snacks. These snacks are your ticket to a healthy lifestyle, slim and compact. They're designed to fit perfectly in your purse and in your children's lunchbox. <laughs> lunchbox, excuse me. That's a big win for the whole family. Free from uh, the top 12 allergens, no preservatives, no added sugars, 100% real fruit. Seriously, that's it. So, I mean, if your goal is to feed your children real fruit, um, you can get them some blueberries, put them in a Ziploc baggie, get them some mangoes, and get them some strawberries um, because that's, that's it. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I mean, I guess this is easier to do, but... Um, yeah, I mean, if, if your goal is for fresh, non-GMO, and no preservatives, all that stuff, I would just buy the actual fruits. But um, let's go ahead and see and give these a taste. They might be good. Um, because basically what you're doing is you're losing the water from the fruits, which dilutes the flavor. So I'm assuming these are going to be a lot sweeter than the regular fruits themselves. So here it says free from top 12 allergens. All right. Same thing, uh, non-GMO, gluten-free. I don't know what this U stands for. I'm guessing this is vegan and P certified paleo. Yeah, I don't know what the U stands for. Not a low calorie food. See nutrition panel and sugar um, uh, for sugar and calorie content. Brought to you by That's It Nutrition LLC. All right, you can see the barcode, everything. Okay, so you can see all of them has the fruit that they have plus apple. The main ingredient for each one is apple. So keep that in mind. You have mostly apple and then you have some strawberry for the strawberry, some mango for the mango and blueberry for the blueberry. So really it's apple, strawberry, apple, mango and apple, blueberry. Okay. Each one is 60 calories. As you can see, each bar is 20 grams. All right. I'm not sure how they adjust that because I don't think strawberries, mangoes and blueberries have the same calories per gram. So I don't, I don't really know how they do it um, to keep the calories the same. Here you can see all the nutrition facts. There's like zero of everything. There's um, some sodium. There's 15 milligrams of sodium in the strawberry and mango ones, but there's no sodium in the blueberry one. All right, you can see the carbs. All right, so more carbs in the mango, 15 grams. The other ones only have 12 grams. Dietary fiber, about the same. Blueberries has a little more, three grams instead of the two. And then sugar, uh, 10 grams for the strawberry, 13 for the mango, and three for the blueberry. And let's see what else. You got some potassium for the strawberry, 4%, 190 milligrams. There's a tiny bit of calcium, but it doesn't, it's not even 1% each one. Um, the blueberry one actually has 2% of uh, calcium because it's higher, 18 milligrams. Potassium, 85 milligrams for the blueberry and 94 milligrams for the mango. Okay, that's enough reading. You guys are probably getting bored. Let's go ahead and open this up. It has this little tear tab here, so you can open this up. All right. I mean, I usually like mango and strawberry stuff, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, they taste good, and hopefully, they're worth it. <clears throat> All right. Here you can see what each bar looks like. That's a mango one, blueberry, and I can actually smell some fruit smell coming out, so I don't know if there's a hole in one of them or something. Um, where's the strawberry? These are all... I'm not finding a strawberry one in here. Okay, here we go. Oops dropped it now I got dust all over it all right anyways there's the strawberry one it has a little ziploc baggie so you can close this up though I'm not sure why you would need to zip it up since they're all wrapped in their individual wrappers anyways we'll set that aside maybe it's so it doesn't spill out everywhere okay let's go ahead and zoom in here and take a look I'm gonna eat these in order of what I'll probably like most or what I, um, from least to best, so that way the flavor stays in my mouth last. All right, here you can see, they actually show here apples and blueberries, 
all right in this mini fruit bar that's it all right no sugar added i don't know how many blueberries compared um this is uh but 60 calories so i don't know what 60 calories of blueberries look like 60 calories of strawberries and 60 calories of mango of course there's also apple so keep that in mind all right they have the nutrition facts on the back here i'm not going to go over that again because once is enough here you can see they have the same information here and then i don't know what this blue is i don't know what that means if anyone knows feel free to let us know <clears throat> Today is February 26th, I believe, and there's an expiration date here of February 11th, 2024. So this will last two years. Do they all say that? February 11th, 24, and this one also February 11th, 24. So they last like two years, so keep that in mind. I don't know. Um, they must have heated it to pasteurize it to keep it for two years because they say no preservatives. All right. And then same thing, not a low calorie food and all of that stuff. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if the strawberry one says something else there. The worm from blue. This one says worm, worm from stir. And this one says worm from mango one. Okay. So that's how you know each flavor. I have someone calling me right now. Um, so let me go tend to that and I'll be back. See you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right, so let's go ahead and try these out. Blueberry first. Sorry for all the talking in the beginning. I know people just want to go straight to it. Here you can see, huh, how does it have this texture in it? Are those all blueberry seeds? Here you can see. All right, interesting. Um, all right, let's give it a taste. It kind of looks like oatmeal, but I mean, it just says blueberry and apple, so... Um, it's kind of similar to dried fruit trail mix, kind of similar to those, um, I don't know what you call those dehydrated fruit, the fruit roll up kind of things, but the ones with real fruit, it's very similar to that. I definitely can taste the apple. That's actually the strong flavor in here. I taste a lot of apple. Um, if I were eating this blindfolded, honestly, I don't think I would think this is blueberry. But definitely tastes like those dried um, apples, but the soft ones, not the fully dried crispy ones. Um, yeah, it's like dehydrated apple. All right, so if you're looking, if you were looking forward to blueberry flavor, yeah, this tastes like dehydrated apples to me, the ones that are like floppy and still a bit chewy. Okay, so that's that one. Next, we're going to try strawberry. Same thing, apples and strawberries. I mean, it's it's what's to be expected since apple is the main ingredient. Okay, same other information. Let's go ahead and pop this open. All right. And you can see this one is now like a weird brownish. If you change the shape of it, I would almost think it's like poop. But <laughs> here you can see. All right. It doesn't have any of the red color of a strawberry. So if you handed this to me and told me it was strawberry, I'd be confused. Okay. Also smells like dehydrated apple. Let's give it a taste. Texture of this is very different. Um, flavor wise not too different to be honest um it is a little different if you handed this to me and told me what fruit this tastes like i would not say strawberry at all so hmm interesting i mean if you're going for like a dehydrated dried fruit snack yeah, but um, personally, 
I would like a little baggie of blueberries in my lunch over one of these. Same thing with these. I would prefer a little baggie of strawberries. Even if you were too lazy to wash them and you just threw them in a baggie and told me to rinse them out at school or something. I mean, I'm not in, haven't been in school in a long time, but <laughs> that's just my honest opinion. Um, yours might vary. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. All right. So we got mango here. Again, I can't even smell mango from this. Maybe my nose is broken. I don't know. Um... You definitely do get the different textures because of, I guess, the strawberry seeds and the blueberry seeds. So I'm guessing this will have no gritty texture to it because there's no mini seeds in here. It's just mango and apple. So let's give this a try. Hmm. Okay. Um. I don't know. I still don't taste mango. I mean, I guess if you have dried mango mixed with dried apple, that's what you'd get. Um, it's not a very strong mango flavor. There is a little mango. I actually have, there is a little mango aftertaste on this one. But, um, yeah. I mean, if you're going to buy mangoes, I'd rather get, like, a few slices of mango. Like, you can just cut, like, the out, like, the flat part outside where the seed, right away from the seed. Give me that little round, rounded edge part. I'd rather have that in a little baggie than this. Um, but, I mean, this is easy to keep on your shelf. It lasts a long time. Um, maybe if you want it as, like, food rations or something. Um, something to keep in, like, your bunker or somewhere to just keep food for a while. Because, again, this does store for about two years assuming this lot expiration thing is correct um so yeah if you want something to keep um in your bunker or food bug out bag or something something to have that you're kind of running and you just need something to go that will last a long time won't rot for quite some time this will probably be good but again if i had a choice between actually fresh mangoes strawberries blueberries I'm definitely going that route. Um, but yeah. So if you're getting this, think of it as um, dehydrated apple slices. Those ones that are still floppy and chewy a little bit. Mixed with a hint of each of these flavors. But even that, the hint of that flavor is, a li is not too strong. And... Um, I'm pretty sure it's because it's all pasteurized, like it's heat to a certain point where it kills all the bacteria so that when they seal this, um, it won't get like mold or whatever inside here. All right. But um, that's my review. Sorry it was so long winded. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out. I mean, if you see it at your Costco and you want to give it a try, go for it. But uh, I'm telling you, it's you're probably going to mainly just taste apple. So if someone blindfolded you, handed you a little bit of each, let you bite it, and you had to guess, I don't think you'd be able to guess what flavor is what, except maybe the mango, but even that, like, you'd have to really think hard that, okay, these are the three flavors. If you weren't even told what three flavors to try, and you were just told to keep your eyes shut or blindfold and then fed, like, each one a bite and told to guess what you're eating... There's no way, like, at least to me, there's no way I would guess strawberry, blueberry, or, or this. But, um, yeah, I would probably guess more like minced up dehydrated apples. All right. If you like that, that's good. Dehydrated apples are also good. Um, um, this isn't very sweet. There's no added sugar. It's mainly just the sugars from the fruits. So keep that in mind. It's not like a candy or anything like that. Um, it's more like a preserved, dehydrated fruit. All right, so anyways, that's it. That's my review. 
thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one i mean it's good enough that i'll finish it but it's not something i'll buy again anyways thanks for watching see y'all later let's drop this bye all right so as you can see i took one of each and cut them up cut them into four pieces i let my other housemates siblings and yeah renters give them a taste they guessed the strawberry one without me telling them what flavors so my housemates didn't know the renters didn't know what flavors are even in here my brother my youngest brother i told him in advance or he knew because he saw the packaging um and then he said well on the packaging let me see if i have one let me go grab one and i'll be back all right so what my brother said is he was like didn't you see the the apples here and it's so big but what I saw was strawberry, mango, blueberry, strawberry, mango, blueberry. I didn't pay attention to what this shape was. I didn't pay attention and think, oh, apple, that's a big apple. And then I didn't think, let me look at the back and go, oh, apple's the main ingredient, apple's the main ingredient, apple's the main ingredient. So I didn't think about that. I feel this packaging is very misleading. Um, if you know what to expect, you might be okay with it. Um, but now that hopefully you watch this video, you'll know what to expect if you're going to give them a try. Um, again, uh, without knowing what flavors these are, um, both my uh, housemates, friends, and both my, both my friends that are kind of staying here said that these taste like apple. Okay, the strawberry one. It just tastes like apple. Nothing else. All they tasted was apple. If Unless I told them, try harder, try harder, there's something else in there, try and think. I don't think there's any way you're going to guess even that there's strawberry. <laughs> All right. My brother, because he knew what three flavors there were, strawberry, mango, blueberry, he said he doesn't taste any strawberry, but he can tell there's some strawberry seeds in there. So... <laughs> There's like the grit from strawberry seeds, okay? The orange one, the mango, sorry, not orange, the mango one. Uh, my friends, um, one of my friends guessed dried apricot. And I'm assuming it's because the orange color, so he guessed apricot. But again, it's you just taste apple. My brother, because he knew the three flavors, um, just like I said, because I also knew the three flavors, there is a slight mango aftertaste. So if you eat this, you get like that mango taste in the back of your throat or whatever aftertaste. Okay. And then the blueberry one, um, it's just more sour. So without telling anything, my friends, the ones, uh, my housemates, they said that this tastes um, just sour. So it also tastes like apple, but more sour. So again, if I said blueberry i told them okay this is blueberry they're like huh what like what you can't even tell this is blueberry you can't tell this is mango and you can't tell this is strawberry if you like process it in your mouth and kind of like feel for like okay i feel like the grit in here and stuff then maybe you'll guess but again mostly apple 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 so this one's more sour all right and this one, you maybe get a hint of mango flavor if you kind of think about it long enough. Um, but yeah, I'll let my other brother give these a try and we'll see. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same thing. Um, because that's not what I was expecting, I'm not going to um, support this kind of marketing. And I'm actually going to be returning this to Costco because I don't like when they do misleading packaging like this. And I kind of show that to them by returning it. That way Costco goes back to the manufacturer, goes back to the people that make this stuff. And they tell them like, hey, like this isn't what people are expecting. They're returning it. They didn't like it. And I will, they, they ask like what the reason is. And I will tell them. It says strawberry, mango, blueberry. All I taste is apple, apple, apple. And then later I looked at the ingredients and the main ingredient is apple, apple, apple. So yeah. Keep that in mind. Um, if you like dried uh, apples, um, which dried apples are okay, but again, I was not expecting that, and I do not um, approve of that kind of false advertising marketing. So, yeah, if they wrote on here, apple with a hint of strawberry, apple with a hint of mango, apple with a hint of blueberry, something like that, or even like on these packaging here, I didn't see this. All I saw was the back labels. 
but here you can see at least apples plus mango so it's like very clear the flavor is apples plus mango if they wrote on here only two ingredients apple plus all these three things then okay it's it makes a little more sense but still saying strawberry mango blueberry with apple when the flavor is like 99% apple and like 1% of these or I don't know how much uh, strawberry mango blueberry is in there very little that's probably how they get these to be so close in calories and everything that probably the other flavor difference doesn't do much but um yeah sorry that's my rant um uh, I don't like when people market stuff like that and get away with it. So, yeah, I mean, if you like dried apple or, I mean, dehydrated apple, by all means, you'll probably like this. Um, but again, keep that in mind. It's You're not going to taste much strawberry mango or blueberry at all. You're going to taste dried apple, dried apple with a very slight hint of mango, and dried apple with extra tartness. All right? So that's my video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.